hi in this video finally we are going to test or simulate the kneeling concerning traveling salesman problem so for example i'm going to calculate the traveling salesman problem for a hundred cities so i is less than a hundred and the city city is equal to a new city if we do not specify any constructor as you may recall, it's going to generate some random coordinates for the X and the Y parameter. This is exactly what I want. Okay, and then we just have to add that city to the repository. So add city, city. Then we just have to instantiate the simulated annealing with the name annealing, for example, is equal to the new simulated annealing. And we just have to make the simulation basically. Okay, and then we have to print out that uh, final approximated solution. Solutions distance is plus we have to get the simulated. Oh, sorry for that. The annealing dot. Okay, we have to specify some getters and setters. So in the simulated annealing, let's right click. I think we have the source generate getters and setters for the best. Of course, we don't have to create a setter because we want to calculate it. We are not able to set it from outside. So simulated annealing dot get best solution dot get distance. It's going to be the distance of the best solution. Okay, so let's see. Let's run it. As you can see, it's quite working fine. We generate a random solution at the beginning. The distance is approximately 4,700. The final solution is approximately 2,200. So it's working fine. It's going to find a better solution. Okay, and let's see where it's working fine to print out. The, the tour is going to be the tour. And we just have to specify the simulated annealing dot get best dot to string okay i think it's going to work fine yeah so basically we have the cities with the x and the y coordinates and as you can see we have the first city then we have to visit this one this this is the x position so this is the x coordinate so the horizontal parameter and the second one is the y so the vertical parameter you are able to plot it on a two-dimensional plane at the end we should print out the first because traveling salesman problem is going to start with this city and it's going to end up with this city but of course we know for certain that after this city it's going to point to the first city because it has to form a closed loop okay so this is the traveling salesman problem this is how we solve it with simulating annealing if we would try to test it on a small application i mean an application with for example with five cities it's not sure that it's going to find the best solution and you would pose the question that okay then it's not going to work fine but yeah it's it's working fine but we usually use simulated annealing with situations and applications where brute force search would fail so for example 10,000 cities we are not able to solve the troubling salesman problem with the help of brute for search with so many cities but we are able to use simulated annealing and it's going to find an approximated solution but if we have just five cities then brute force search would be better because simulated annealing is going to find an approximated solution it is not guaranteed that it's going to be the best but it's going to be a very very good guess as we have seen for the function optimization that it has find approximately the global maximum or the global minimum it is same for the traveling salesman problem so this is how simulated annealing works with traveling salesman problem thanks for watching